Now that the Democrats have a new presidential candidate, we get to have fun conversations about a VP pick. So do you want to rattle off first? Um, let's say who is your favorite that's okay. been thrown around? Okay, so my absolute favorite is Andy Bashir. If you've been watching the show for a long okay. time, you know Andy Bashir's my guy. Yes. During my birthday last year, literally like a year ago, almost today, I was sitting around the table with my family and they're like, who would you want to be president in a perfect world? I'm like, Andy Bashir. I want Andy Bashir to be president. Yeah. He's a Democrat. He's the governor of Kentucky. The fact that he's a Democrat from Kentucky is already great. That's insane. He's very pro labor. He's pro trans and LGBTQ rights. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't nex on those values because he's from Kentucky and he's trying to win elections. He doesn't do that. And he's very, very pro public schooling. Um, he's also, you know, a, a common sense Democrat in the way that he believes that the government should have strong industrial infrastructure policy to, um, you know, drive the economy forward. So those are all qualities that I really like. And the fact that he's winning elections in a red state, right? Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, is there anyone that you sticks out to you right away? To me, it's Josh Shapiro. Yeah. Um, I, I think he's the most obvious pick. He's the governor of Pennsylvania. He's very articulate. Uh, Pennsylvania is the most important state for the Democrats to win, to be able to win the election. Mm -hmm. I think he, if, if the vice presidential pick matters at all, which, which is a question I have for you. Yes. Which we should talk about. Um, I think he would be the most helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, but I guess honestly, I don't know a ton about the individual policies yeah. and the stances of all of these VP picks. I know that Shapiro is critical of israel but also critical no, of anti-semitism no he he is critical of israel's government okay oh, um critical of the government sure yes that's right um yeah and that's a position that i do Agreed like with, yeah um but as far as the others and thinking about the vp pick more as the person who gets a head start for the next presidential race yeah rather than someone who might help win this presidential race I don't know who I want. That's it. Yeah, because I'm kind of picking Bashir from two angles here. I like Bashir because of his policies. Okay. I like Bashir because of his electability, but I also want him to be the future of the party. Yeah. I want him to be the next president. Yeah. Right. And that's one of the reasons I want him to be VP. I want this to be the stepping stone to get him out of Kentucky and get him into the national stage. Do you, okay, do you like it because he's a Democrat who was able to get elected in a state that Donald Trump won mm -hmm. by 15, 20 points or whatever. And do, do you see him as like this beacon of hope for Democrats in the South? I see him as a beacon of hope, at least in Appalachia. Not okay. to necessarily win the states, but to reduce the margins in historically, honestly, Democrat areas. Because yes. if we keep in mind rural West Virginia, rural Kentucky, these places that are voting for Donald Trump by 60, 70 points... They're like all registered Democrats from the 60s and 70s, yes. right? These used to be Democrat strongholds. Coal country yeah. used to be the Democratic base because the Democrats represented the union interests mm -hmm. and the unions owned those counties yeah. and represented those mine workers, right? Um, and Andy Bashir is kind of the holdover of that. And I, I want that to be, again, where the party goes. Okay. I, bel I am a believer that the Democratic Party must continue to be at le and pivot back to its working class base. And I think Andy Bashir has the opportunity to do that. Okay. Well, it's funny because I would say Joe Biden, if anything, has been the beginning of that. You know, or at least he's tried to be. I agree that he's definitely tried to be. I think it's a little more difficult because of the fact that he's from like Delaware and then he has the East Coast liberal no, aura. I I get what you're saying. Do you know he's, what I mean? He's not that as a candidate, but he has been that yes. as a president. No, that's and with totally his true. Absolutely true. Yeah. That's totally true. Mm -hmm. It's all about the communication aspect of making sure. the people see that. Yeah. Um, but there's two other people who are in the running that I want to mention. Please. Um, there's uh, there's uh, Governor Cooper from North Carolina. Yeah. Governor Cooper, um, Democrat, North Carolina. So again, Democrat winning in a red state has been a really good friend to Kamala Harris for a long period of time. They've actually worked together a lot. Both of them are attorney generals, so they're both, they have been attorney generals in the past. Mm. Um, and Cooper and Harris have been on the campaign trail a lot in North Carolina over yeah. the last month together. They spent a lot of time together. So I think he is definitely high up in the running. Okay. And then there's Mark Kelly from Arizona. Mark Kelly is my number two. Yeah, Mark Kelly, um, he was my bottom actually really in the beginning because he is one of four senators democrat senators who did not support passing the pro act which is the protect the right to organize act okay. which is probably my top five most important things that's in my top five pieces of legislation that i want to see passed but he recently came around on it 
And he said, nope, I'm actually for the PRO Act now, which means he knows the way that the tea leaves are going. He knows the way that the Democrats are going. He knows that Kamala Harris is running a very strong pro-union campaign. Yeah. She's saying it in every speech, every TV spot. She just did a, it was a speech or a rally or something to a teacher's union. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she totally hammered that home. And she even said, like, I want to pass the PRO Act. Yes. She is very explicit with that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Kelly... Apparently, Kelly was Obama's rumored top pick. Really? Kel- uh, Obama apparently wanted Kelly at the top of the ticket. And we, we haven't even talked about Kelly's background yet, yeah. which um, is, I think, why I like him so yeah. much. He, has he was story. an astronaut. He was a U.S. Navy combat pilot. Uh, so those are awesome. And then he looks like the type of person who you want to partner with a woman in a country that you're worried about still having misogynistic impulses yeah. in voting for president. Fair. That's like, fair. He is he's like Vin Diesel-esque. Yes, he is like Vin Diesel-esque. Yeah. Um, so I want to say my last pick would have been Shapiro. Um, I don't agree. I think Shapiro is the most conservative Democrat out of the four that we've said so far. Okay. Um, which may be good for the ticket. Yeah. Right? It may be good to have a guy from Pennsylvania on the ticket. I don't disagree with that. If it's Shapiro, I'm not going to be mad. But I do think he's like the least progressive out of all of them. Okay. I think the progressive base is really lining up behind Andy Bashir um, and also Tim Waltz, governor of Minnesota, who I didn't mention, who I love Tim Waltz. Really? Very, very pro-union, very good on LGBTQ rights, got the universal lunch program passed, was like the first state to yeah. start that chain. Um, I like Tim Waltz as far as how good of a governor he's been. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'm. I think appearance matters. It so does. And, and, and I he don't, looks like a he looks like a shaved Santa. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little. He looks like Malcolm McDowell a little bit, like in like in his latest years. Uh, I think Mark, like the look of Mark Kelly, is a plus. Yeah. I think the look of Shapiro and Bashir, Bashir are pluses. Yeah. Um. I think who's the other person we, we already talked about? Kelly Bashir Cooper. Um. Cooper's a minus. Yeah. Waltz is a minus. Uh. If because honestly, we're talking about VP picks, which. We don't even know if they matter, and they probably don't yeah. matter. Um, so I think the one thing that might matter is just the straight, like, what can you put on an email image? Totally. Right? I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. Um, last thing I want to say on this topic is people are being really racist against Kamala Harris pretty quickly. They're calling her the DEI candidate, and I have a lot of issues with that. I haven't... Okay. I, I saw that happening or, like, floated... When the idea of Kamala the candidate was no, out there, it's everywhere. I, okay, the I, Republican I, Party is saying it verbatim all the time. Interesting. I, the one thing I did see is that so Trump himself yes. has held back. Yes, Trump has. has not levied misogynistic or racist attacks against Kamala yet. Mm-hmm. However, one of Trump's campaign spokespeople mm. recently answered a question of like, "Would you recommend that Republicans?" don't levy these kinds of attacks on Kamala. And he's like, uh, we're not doing that. I, that I can say for sure that we're not doing that. I don't know if I can speak for what anyone else should yeah. do, but we're not saying that. There's Yeah, there's a lot of clips going around of a guy from North Carolina doing it, uh, Burest or something. There, Then there's the representative from Wyoming who's done it. Um, there's just plenty okay. that are going around and saying it. And my issue with that is DEI is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's the way that they, the diversity and all that, that's not a bad thing. It's the way that they're saying it as if they're suggesting that she didn't earn the position exactly. based off of her merits. That's the whole point. And then I want to point to you about the list of people we just named about vice presidents. They're all white guys in their 50s and 60s. Yeah. It's DEI. We're balancing the ticket with a white dude. That's true. That's what Democrats are doing. Yes. So any VP that we're picking, it's the DEI candidate too, guys. Mm. That's how I... That's No, I, no I, I get what you're saying. You know? But the what it more is, is that neither... Our DEI candidate. That's a better. It's, that's a better yes. way to phrase what it, I meant. Yes, <laughs> Ka- Kamala is qualified, and yes. all of these people are extremely qualified, which is why we're excited about the people we just talked about as VP or as the future of the Democratic Party. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely.